Welcome guys into this video. This is going to be another guide video But in this video a lot of you guys always ask questions on how to do something So I've literally got every single question you guys asked and in this video I'm gonna be answering how you do everything in the game so this is probably going to be the best guide video out there. This, I've saw no other guide video show you guys how to get past the bridge, how to get to bandit camp, showing secret treasure maps in the game. This is literally going to be everything. This is a full guide video and a dusty trip. Please watch all the way through because it's really, really important that you do that. And yeah, I'm literally going to explain everything, guys, because I've, I'm literally the best person in this game, as you guys already know. But let's get started guys all right so this is literally everything explained first of all guys i do want to start the video off by showing you guys the text on the screen these are answers that you guys ask and these questions have been answered so as you can obviously see i'm gonna put a lot of the questions on the screen such as how to get my real engine unstuck how do I, why do I run out of raw and oil so fast when I crash? What happens when I fall off a bridge? All of these answers and questions, well, all of these questions have been answered, guys. Where do you find weapons? I'll put all of these questions on the screen right now. So if you guys, if you guys have asked one of these questions before, just pause the video and then one of these well this hopefully this will help you guys out so this is a lot of the questions that you guys have been asking and i thought that i'll just show you guys all of these so by just reading this guys you can obvious you'll be able to know how to turn on headlights and you basically just know all of the common problems in the game where you can't move your car how to find liquids etc etc so follow that pause the video and I'm also going to explain in a ton of other stuff in this video, so just make sure you're watching all the way to the very end. Now guys, I'm going to show you a ton of secret stuff in the game. So, before I do that though, I'm just going to go over some basics. So, if your car is smoking, you need water. You find water at buildings. If you guys got... There's three engines in the game, guys. There's gold engines. These are, like troll engine that you can't even use as you guys already know so we've got that we've also got water so water is what you need to put in the you need to put water in the radiator or else the car will just not work the engine needs oil as well guys there's three engine types in the game there's this engine there's this engine and there's also another engine which i'll put on the screen right now so there's three engine types in the game the yellow engines are just engines you can't use and this engine does cost diesel every other engine apart from this engine needs gas this is the only engine in the game that needs diesel as you can obviously see this has diesel and this has gas so you gotta put gas in the car but if you've got this engine, you need to put diesel in the car because this engine is the best engine in the game. And if your car isn't working, guys, these are the common reasons why your car's not moving. First reason is because the handbrake is up. You can't move with your handbrake up, so put it down. Another reason is because there's no gas in your car or diesel. Another reason is because there's no water in the car. Another reason is that there's no oil in the engine. So those are all of the common ways where your car is not moving. And yeah, there you guys go. If you want to know where big tires are, big tires are underneath that ramp. And you can put them, put them onto your car whenever you want. To eat food, guys, what you basically got to do is press F. And by left clicking, you can eat food. If you want to wash your car, just grab a sponge and just do that. And then there you go. You can just instantly wash your car. You can obviously see something else what you guys can do is this. So there's also guns in the game. As you can already see, guys. So guns in the game are used to kill mutants. You will find dynamite, fire axes, fly squatters. You can use these to kill zombies. As you can obviously see, I'm doing that right now. As you can obviously see, we got a golden AK. You can find guns around the map really, really easily, guys. Guns are pretty much found around the map in buildings and stuff. So, yeah, that's how you find well guns, guys. And if you want to rotate stuff like I'm doing, 
if you're on PC, you can only rotate stuff on PC. So to rotate stuff, you gotta do this, guys. As you can obviously see, just hold right click, hold right click, and just move your mouse up down. Just rotate, just move your mouse, guys, whilst holding right click, and you'll be able to move the thing you're holding. And you can also shoot by clicking, as you can obviously see. I kinda just broke the van, didn't I? That's unfortunate. But you can also put headlights in your car by just clicking like that. So if you press F to pick up the thing you want with the headlight, and you click on your mouse, you can probably hear me clicking. You can see that it'll turn off and on by just pressing left button mouse on PC. And you can also, the best way to see in dark, which I've saw no other YouTuber show, is by doing this. It's, it's something that I've made up, you can just see in dark really easily. There's also air drops in the game if you guys do not know already. It's a good way to actually spend your robux really really quickly. If you want to see what air drops are, if you do find a walkie talkie near 50 robux, you can actually just pick up this and you can call in. Um, air drops as you can see, you can call in engine air drop. You can call, I'm just going to call in an air drop just to show you guys. So as you can obviously see, you can call in an airdrop. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get past the bridge, as well as showing you guys how to get past the bandit camp. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some secret areas in the game where you guys can go to. Because I've saw no other guide video show the treasure, secret treasure area. But, so yeah, I'll show you that in a moment, guys. Because glitches are basically needed in the game, like... It's kind of hard to explain, but the whole point of this game is being buggy and bugs in the game is what makes it so good. And I'll explain some of the glitches and secret areas in a moment, but this is airdrops guys, as you can obviously see. You can get different types of airdrops that give certain stuff, car parts and stuff, and as you can obviously see, this is the other engine in the game that I was talking about. So yeah, this is basically... The engine that needs gas, as you can obviously see, it does have oil in. I am gonna just replace it. If you want to replace the engine, guys, all you need to do is grab it like that. Just grab it like that and just get rid of it, guys. All right. Now leave the car. Hopefully it don't roll off. There we go. And now we've got to put this in the van. So let's do that. Sit down and place. And there we go, guys. We now got a good engine in the van. You can also put lights on your van, guys, if you're wondering where the headlights are for the van. It's gonna be right around here, right where I'm standing. I, there's also flashlights in the game, so if you guys are wondering how you actually use flashlight, if you do have a headlight, you can use this to actually see in the dark really, really easily. So if you don't have your car and you want to see in the dark in buildings and stuff, you can actually use this. You can just pick it up and use it, as you can obviously see, it's a flashlight, which I've seen on the YouTube show, as you can see, it does help a lot, guys, to see in the dark. It's really, really handy. There's disasters in the game, such as sandstorms, tornadoes, there's a ton of stuff in the game, guys, that you need to know about. Tornadoes do randomly occur, and they can just destroy your car. So if you guys are basically playing the game, and your engine, well, and the tornado comes and your car does flip out, then you've pretty much lost. But you can actually flip your car by doing this, guys. If you want to unflip your car, just do this, and then you'll be able to unflip your car. There's also sandstorms in the game. To survive sandstorms, you can go inside the building like this building. By just going here and closing the doors, you won't die to the sandstorm. Another way to survive from sandstorms in the game is by putting all of the car doors on your car. So always make sure that you've got car doors on your car. And by having all of the doors on your car, you'll be able to survive the sandstorm. There's also a random van that comes, guys. Whenever you get to a certain distance in the game, a random van comes. And it just, just rides into you. So just be aware of that, guys. It does kind of look like this when the van does come. And it's kind of scary. But if you guys want to actually survive the bridge and the bandit camp, this is pretty much what you need to do, guys. If you want to survive the bandit camp, 
Right, if you want to survive a bridge, just do what I'm doing. So yeah, this is how you survive a bridge. Just drive like I done. The last, the last jump, guys, keep in mind, the very last jump on the bridge is actually a jump where if you don't go fast enough, you actually die. So make sure you're driving fast enough on the last jump. And if you want to survive the bandit camp, you got to just drive full speed, guys. But if you want to survive yourself from it, I highly recommend you guys doing this. Attaching stuff to your car by doing this. So I highly recommend you guys having armored armored car like i do and just attaching loads of random stuff to your car this will protect you from bullets so by doing this guys you will protect yourself from bullets as you can see the bullet will protect you this is basically what happened guys so if the bullet basically if you have a bandit camp guys you gotta drive through without the bullets just around the car and this is what happens look as you can obviously see i just shot and it destroyed the panel, as you can obviously see. So bullets, that, that is why you gotta attach stuff to your car, guys, to survive a bandit camp. It's really easy to survive a bandit camp, just make sure you're attaching a ton of stuff to your car. Really important that you do that. If you guys don't know how the dashboard works, this it shows how much fuel you've got. The one at the top left here does show how much water is in the car. And this one shows how fast you're going. So, and this one shows if there's no oil in the engine. So if this lights up, you've got no oil in the engine. If this one goes to the red, that means you've got no water in the radiator. And if this is all the way to zero, you've got no fuel in the car. And yeah, that's the, how the dashboard works, guys. If you guys want to go to the secret treasure area, this is where you need to go by following where I go. You are actually able to go ahead and get yourself a ton of good engines of the game. So it's right by spawn guys and you can easily get there as you can obviously see. So just following where I go you are able to go to the secret treasure area inside of a dusty trip. And there's a ton of stuff there like diesel, gas, water. So make sure you go in there guys it's really important. And if you want to kill mutants in the game, there's fly swatters, dynamite, golden AK-47, pistols, as well as normal AK-47. And boy, oh, and there's also fire axes in the game. You use those to, to kill mutants in the game. And anyway, guys, I literally showed everything there. Like, there's literally nothing else to explain in the game. I showed you how to survive literally everything this is probably the best guide video out there thank you guys so much for watching and peace out